Can you just speak into both of them? Speak into both of them. Okay, I'm speaking into the blue one, just nattering away, and now I'm speaking into the red one. You know we've got a, a storm coming in? Yeah, I saw this today. It's called Storm Baron. Oh, no, ba that was Arwen. Arwen was the last one. Okay. It's Storm Barra today. Barra? Yeah, B A R R A. -R -A. And I mean, I think it's a bit silly. I think it's a bit unfair that they keep every every season they go back to A to start naming the oh, storms. Oh, do they? Yeah, so they start for they've only been naming them for a few I mean, years. Storm Zeus would be fucking one that, that would, would scare, scare the shit out of you, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you if you heard that Storm Zeus was on Storm the LeBron. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> but a dunk on these beaches. <laughs> but know. what what constitutes a storm? Light breeze, Edna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just give it a you just give it a very uh, a very sort of passive sounding yeah. name. Drizzle, e Ethel's drizzle. <laughs> Ethel's drizzle. <laughs> if it was a, every time, like we're in England, it, it fucking rains all the time. Yeah, I don't know what the actual category. I don't know how you actually categorize a storm. I, I imagine it's probably to do with the the, the force of the winds. Mm. So we're back. Um, I hope you enjoyed your cup of tea. It was lovely. Good. So we've talked about this holy grail, this idea of a system that allows us to transact without anyone in the middle. Um, so we better no talk middleman. No middleman. Exactly. Perfect. So the solution to this problem is blockchain. So I think it, I think we better now actually answer the question of what a blockchain actually is. That that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think we've beaten about the bush for long <laughs> enough. So, okay, so nerds, when yeah, it's it's a popular term, a distributed ledger, a record of accounts, basically. A distributed ledger. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm Blockchain, bro. Yeah, yeah. Tell it like it is. <laughs> idea. I love how you look down on me. Like, oh, you're not a moron. <laughs> oh, well, quite as <laughs> stupid as I thought. It's good, quite apt, though. Good gracious, Mike. <laughs> well, well, well. Of Bitcoin. Yeah. And I was thinking about talking about hard forks in either this or another episode. You but don't always have to <laughs> fork them hard. <laughs> Sometimes it's just <laughs> not right. And for that reason, I'm not going <laughs> to <laughs> dig deeper into the whole process. Yeah. Did, do you do you have a kind of men good mental picture of, of what we're dealing with here? No, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. It's not particularly riveting. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see some green candles. That's all I'm about. You want to see green. I, I green can, candles. I can respect that. I can um, respect that. But it is good to know how yeah. those green candles are made and what what's what's keeping them up. Exactly. What's exactly. But you know, may, maybe some of these technical aspects of it will will excite you a bit more. I, think. I highly doubt that. <laughs> I really, really, really do. It's yeah. I, do you know what excites me? I th I no, don't. I've got to, don't no, I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to answer. I've got a pretty good idea, and it's certainly, it's certainly not fit to broadcast. I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't ask sorry, questions sorry, like sorry, that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Necessarily, is interesting clean place, like Kazakhstan. Have you been? No. Well, I've got a friend who's from Kazakhstan, but I, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, so I'm pretty well versed. Right, you're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what what are your impressions of Kazakhstan? From Very your, nice. Very, <laughs> from your extensive research, um, uh, it's 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 mad country. It's it's enormous, isn't it? Huge. Yeah. It's one of the biggest countries by landmass in the world, isn't it? Yeah. Vladimir Putin. Putin, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't what is it about these post-Soviet um, dictators, I think, for want of a better term, that makes them sort of want to strut around on horses? I mean, at least he seemed to have kept his top top on this guy. I'm not. I'm not good. Right. I'm really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Did people beat you up? Uh, uh, no. It, it, I went to two two camps. Mm -hmm. First camp I went was. Muay Thai and, and yoga, and it was a bit more relaxed. Okay, yeah. That sounds... Second camp I went to was like Muay Thai and UFC. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I went sparring, and I was just like, I am so out of my depth here. I'm going to mm. get my fucking ass handed to me. Yeah. And then I injured my foot and then had to do yoga because I, <laughs> I couldn't kick any more. So I did. <laughs> I'm just going to stick to the yoga. Yeah, I'm going to go stick to yeah. the girls with lycra. <laughs> 
It's a bit M- more my scene. Much more. Namaste, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like driving a car. Hey, you don't exactly know what's going on underneath the hood, but I still like cars. <laughs> very true. Very true. Yeah, most of us, most of us drive cars, and yeah, if if my car was ever to break down, I wouldn't know the first thing about how to fix it. You, there are experts for that mm. who, yeah, will generally change. I like the lot. shiny ones. <laughs> <laughs> All clear so far because it starts to get complicated. <laughs> Miners, people who mine. Not children. Not children. Okay. Yeah. Right. So am I doing this episode of, of Blockchain Part 2 on my own? Have you done all of the others by your own? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just sit here, ask stupid questions and occasionally nod. And okay. then edit the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then actually edit. And then edit. Yeah. Okay, so we're back for... This is the Coin Bureau podcast, by the way. And we're back to do episode two, part two, of our blockchain special. Yes. My name is Guy. My name is Mad Mike Mooch. And this is the Coin Bureau podcast. Today we're coming actually from the control room of the nuclear power plant at uh, Dungeness on the south coast of England. Okay. I managed to pull a few strings to get us... To I thought you were going to say here. Fukushima. Fukushima. <laughs> like... No. 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 Not that power. That was a little harder to... Yeah. yeah I've always fancied recording um, from the control room of a nuclear power plant. Ever since I saw that uh, uh, show, Chernobyl. I thought you were going to say uh, The Simpsons. <laughs> 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 Ever since I saw that show, The <laughs> Simpsons. It did. Um, there's a lot of buttons. Mm. I've been expressly told not to press any of them. Uh, and that is a message. No, 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 not especially. Uh, especially. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back. Um, and I should warn you as well that because this is part two of our blockchain episode, we are going to get quite technical, which is why I chose this sort of very technical uh, high high spec place to record in. I thought okay. it would be appropriate. Wonderful. Did you have any problems getting through security? Uh, no. Really? <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> that was another reason why I chose to record it. <laughs> so in our last blockchain episode, we did a very sort of general overview of what blockchain was. If you haven't listened to that episode, by the way, listeners, I Go strongly back. encourage you to do so. Yeah. Yep. Um, because a lot of what we're talking about today, it's going to be a deeper dive into the stuff that we kind of hinted at last time. Um, and I think, yeah, this is one of those instances where you probably do need to listen to the initial episode. This is the part two, the sequel that you really won't really understand what's going on unless you've, you've seen part one. I think so. I think so. Yeah, this is the Ain't sort no party of... if there's a third party party. Exactly. I couldn't have put it better myself. Okay, they store a record of all transactions made. Store. They validate transactions. Validate. And they enforce the rules of the network. They enforce that shit. Exactly. Exactly. SVE. <laughs> then the nodes would be able to refer, would, would be able to see pretty quickly that you didn't have 100 Bitcoin to send me. Mm, in and that it, wallet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Moneybags. No, no, I wish it was. I know you have some Bitcoin, don't you? Not a um, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would say that. <laughs> I assume that's what gangs are like these days. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think mostly they're just, they're just all excellent singers and dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on in. Two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> you want to join this gang, you better have rhythm. Is arranged in a structure called a Merkle tree. Okay, so just to, to 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 kind of paint a picture. Anything to do with Angela Merkel or nothing to do with Angela Merkel? It's actually I knew you were going to ask that. I know you so well yeah. that I knew you would you would bring up it's the Angela obvious Merkel. fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it is it is natural. Now it's actually named after an American computer scientist called Ralph Merkel. Oh, Ralphie. Ralphie. Sort of like a river. All the tributaries and sort of little yeah, streams kind of, coming yeah, into sort of one, flowing and then it into finally you. comes into one. Yeah. Um, I'm about to throw, I'm going to throw some other terms here. You've dealt with Merkle trees wonderfully well. Is that patronising? Am I being patronising? Uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets complicated. Mm-hmm. There's something called a target. That's another number. And there's also something called a nonce. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> It itself... Is it actually called a nonce? It is actually called a nonce. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
And of course, yeah, if you do the maths on it now, 10,000 10, BTC is billions of dollars. No, not quite billions, I think, but hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, what was the pizza? I th we th what <laughs> how much? <laughs> how many toppings <laughs> did he get on that pizza? I don't think it was anything. I don't think he had a gold-topped pizza yeah. or a truffle. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put on it? We got pretty technical there, didn't we? I think we did okay, you know. Yeah? I think with some some terrible puns and some good analogies, <laughs> we've managed to, to break a quite complex sort of... Uh, why can't the prices be the same as they were 20 years ago? Exactly. Exactly. Why can't my mum money be worth <laughs> twice as much yeah. as it is now? Now let's talk about blockchains. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about something interesting. <laughs> the first is what is called the blockchain trilemma. Okay, this now this sounds cool. Yeah. Die hard trilemma. <laughs> <laughs> is is the recurring theme me not really understanding because I can guarantee you that will be a recurring theme. That came out wrong. What I meant to say was, is this going to be a recurring theme of the podcast? You continually mangling the the name Satoshi Nakamoto and also getting it confused with Nakatomi Plaza, which you also managed to name incorrectly. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So let's wrap things up, shall we? Let's wrap up everything that we've we've talked about today and Please. about blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> Please, couldn't we have done that five minutes ago? <laughs> Did we need to talk about proof of stake? Um, but yeah, I think probably the Bitcoin episode. We might even we might even do three episodes of Bitcoin because there's a lot to talk the about. The trilemma, <laughs> the Bitcoin trilemma. There's a lot to talk about. I can't wait. Um, thank you for today, Mikey. Thanks everyone for listening. Right, let's uh, let's unplug this nuclear power reactor and then fuck off. Home. Let's get out of here. I'm feeling. I'm starting to feel a little radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> Guy. Yes, Mike. I love you. I love you too. But can we end this episode? <laughs> <laughs> what? You... I think, listen, we just need little chunks. Little chunks. Little chunks. When it comes to, to stuff like this, uh, and I think my brain is at capacity, I'm going to need another week uh, just to let all this sink in, and then we're going to tackle part three of blockchain. I did see what looked like steam coming out of your ears at one point. My nose is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Mikey. Because because I love you so much. Uh, yeah, let's call it let's call it a day there, and we'll pick this up next time. Sounds good. All right.